You know, screw it. Okay, I've done this walk up like six times. I have no idea how to start this video. Guys, I've been away from YouTube for like maybe a week. No, a week and a half. It's weird because I freaking love doing this, but when I haven't done it in a while, I forget how to like start a video. So automatically, I want to go to my default one, which is this. Whoa, where did I come from? But then I also realized you can only do that so many times before it kind of gets like worn out. You know what I mean? I basically just need time away from YouTube and just social media in general, just kind of like recharge. I got a lot of you guys actually messaging me, which is super nice. But, okay, but I also got some of you guys doing this almost a dozen a day going into my DMs on Instagram, okay? Basically saying how big of a fan they are of me. Never missed an upload. They've been with me since like one subscriber. Yeah, sure, sure, I like hearing that. I like reading those. Why not? But I always wait for it. I always wait for it. And it's always at the end. Oh, and by the way, I'd love to enter this giveaway contest. I would love to have this item. First off, okay, if you're such a huge fan, it wouldn't take you a week and a half to watch the video. I just put up. So that tells me you're only there for the giveaway. Anyways, today's video is kind of fun. It's fun because you get to actually learn a lot about me. I don't know, in, in a non-verbal way, make your own sort of like predicament. What the f*** is this? Like, make your own sort of like judgments as to like what type of person I am. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> I'm basically telling you guys to judge me. Let's go over here real quick. Now behind me is this like Chester f What's this called, guys? It's like a banister? There's a lot going on behind me. We got Charlie sleeping when he should be producing. A lot of you guys are always commenting. Dan, what's in that middle drawer right there? Tell the truth. We don't gotta do this right now, Will. Tell the truth. Okay, okay, chill. Nobody's literally ever commented that before. However, I just wanted to make content on it because I feel like there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Let's go closer. Hey, it's Charlie. What's up? You just had to make an appearance. I knew it. Charlie's always freaking cold. Even in San Diego when the weather was like warm, he was just like, yo, bro, it's like a little bit less cold here. You produce from there and then I'll do my thing here, okay? <laughs> All right, love ya. Charlie's so freaking distracting. Anyways, today's video is about this drawer right here. You guys have a drawer in your house where you have an item and you're like, I've got like no f***ing clue where I should put this. Put it in the magical drawer. That's what this is for me. This drawer right here is like the most accepting drawer in my house. It's not like partial, like, no, you don't belong here. It will take anything of odd, I'm, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> This drawer basically fits the other category. Now I've not preloaded this or scripted anything in there. We're just gonna go through it right now. Just to show you guys what I got in my mystery drawer. Let's do it. Here we go. Sounds like a zoo in there. That was a bad one. Shit, man, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, let's try that again. You're curious, you're curious. You're like, what's in there? Yo, bro, what's in there? I wanna know what's in there. The first item is, that scared me for a second because I saw this end and I'm like, whoa, what the? That's not mine. This is actually just a blade. Uh, Wonder Woman stencil a little while back. I think a lot of you guys actually saw it. And it was before I got that cricket machine. I was actually using this to cut out the stencil of the Wonder Woman thing. Next item, eye mask. This eye mask is the most pompous and extra I've ever been in my life. And like, I usually hate people that wear these. Like, it's like, there's no better way to say like, fuck off than like wearing this. And then just going like, oh yeah, so I'll get a glass of Chardonnay. Like, like, Shut up, right, Charlie? Like, shut up. Okay, let's keep going. Guys, listen, I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start that one with this. I don't know if you guys ever see things around your house You're like, how did this get here? I literally have no recollection of buying this. That's like this. I got pipe cleaners But I believe that I probably did because I do a lot of random ass videos So now you're starting to get a sort of an idea of what this drawer actually is. We have an extra tall candle We have snapchat glasses without the snapchat glasses Basically, I was sent these from American Express and like snapchat glasses aren't the most stylish glasses They've got like really cool functionality, but like they're not the most stylish glasses. Okay, so now they're like underneath the seat in my car Love the case so, like, next item. This, okay. So this right here is actually just water. In 2016, the World Cup of Hockey was here in Toronto. Canada won gold. This right here has water in it. So that's actually melted ice from the World Cup arena when Canada won gold. At the bottom it says official game used ice. There's like a chemical in there so it prevents it from, like I, I wanna say like getting mossy, I don't know. This type of weird stuff, where do you put that? Oh great, this was from the day I was born, my parents put a thing in a paper. I don't know if they do that anymore. Like do people do that anymore? This is from the Toronto Star. I don't visit this drawer enough. Okay, we got the uh, H4N Zoom mic. If you guys are making videos but like want like super high quality audio, you guys can get this. They've got newer editions out now, but a lot of YouTubers actually do use this. I mainly use this to record drum covers and piano covers. This is like a really decent mic. If I was like a journalist, I'd be like, so like, tell me about your ass. You know, like, but like, oh, weird. Okay, I got some fan mail in here that I haven't opened. At least I don't think I've opened it. It says, please read on camera. Oh, shoot, I have not opened this. A little while back, I had a P.O. box open where you guys were able to send me like art, letters, things from your hometown. Oh my God, this thing's loaded. I don't know if you see this. I'm just gonna pull it all out in one go. Oh, we got buttons. I have no idea how long this is been in there, so I really do apologize. It says, be right back. I've got, oh my god. I've got a turd crying, a person crying. Dear Dan, I need to tell you something really cool. So next summer, I'm coming to Toronto, and I'm so excited, and hopefully I can bump into you. I mean, Toronto's a big city. You don't really just plan to bump into somebody, but that, I get it. It's totally cool. I'm going there for dance. Hope to see you 
Anyways, hope you read this, bye. Oh, sweet! This is my favorite when you guys do this, okay? I love when you guys send me art or anything like that. Because it gets to show me your talents. And I know a lot of you guys out there are super talented. Hi, Dan. You're the best YouTuber ever. You make me laugh every time I watch a video of yours. You're my number one YouTuber, and I will always and it will always stay that way. Because I opened this so late, I wonder if she still like follows me. That is very sweet. Thank you, Kennedy. What else did you send me here? Whatever. Fellow Canadians, we love Danocracy. Oh, and another letter. Gosh, Kennedy, you got a lot to say. So this is from Abby. The other one's from Kennedy, and this one's from Kennedy and Abby. <laughs> Hi Dan, we are two fans from Saskatchewan. Our names are Kennedy and Abby. Your videos are so funny, they make us laugh even when we are feeling sad. Kennedy and Abby, we heart you. Being away for a week just because I needed to kind of like recalibrate my brain, that was kind of a little special treat that like I didn't anticipate finding. Even the people out there that were like checking up on me or like still messaging me on Twitter, makes me feel that I'm not forgotten. YouTube, and I've, I've talked about this a lot before, YouTube is a place where if you're not constantly creating, making jokes, or in your face, I could fizzle or fade away in your mind. I got a comment a little while ago saying like, I wish I was Dan, he never has any problems. I think last week is a way to show you that I do have problems, and sometimes I do struggle with things, and when I do, I know that it's important. I kind of step back and just fix whatever that is in my life. That's what I did, and I feel much better now, and I feel like I can create content for you guys, and I love doing this, I love doing this so bad. I just don't know if there's anything else worthwhile here. Oh, here we go. This is like season one of Danocracy here. I've got so many videos loaded on here and like the raw files and all of the raw camera footage. It's all on here. And I've got about four of these. If you guys want this, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram. Oh my god, a fidget spinner. Holy sh**. Like this. It's like a wig for your balls, right? No. <laughs> You're wrong. This goes on top of the H4N. It's so weird how this literally gives this item like a character or like a personality. This, it's like, oh, it's a Mike. This is like the new Pixar character. You know what I mean? Like, Mike. Follow Mike this summer and try to escape the mystery drawer. What are you doing? I'm gonna record everything you're doing, eh? Oh my god, I got another eye mask. There's a ton of other stuff in there, but nothing like super exciting. It's more like balloons and like other candles. But just to kind of show you guys my banister, <laughs> okay, now I'm dry for content. This right here is my vinyl records, uh, N64 games, all my cables and chargers for any sort of game system that I have. Right there. Sunglasses and maybe some jewelry like watches. This right here is photo albums, all my spray paint cans whenever I'm doing some sort of art. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like 400 copies of A Dog's Purpose. Just because I actually did work with A Dog's Purpose with Charlie as well. He was like the main, he was like the star in it, man. Literally a box, like we're talking like a box this big, of A Dog's Purpose, the book, a dog cookbook, like you can see there's a bunch, there's more in the back. A million copies of the DVD, so, like if there is an apocalypse and all I wanna do is watch A Dog's Purpose, I will literally be fine for all of eternity. Believe it or not, I've got a cookbook. It's not mine, so my mom actually made a cookbook. <laughs> Look at that, it's a grape. It's like a deep, deep ass picture of a grape. And she included the health benefits of grape. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And at the end, you could tell she didn't erase like the it says enter text here. Which would have which would have been like the prompt. So she just kind of typed and left enter text here. <laughs> there you guys have it. That is what is inside of my banister or my magical drawer. I want to say a big thank you to everybody out there that was messaging me or just like with me for the past week and a half. My thoughts on YouTube have have like greatly changed and they've greatly changed in a way that I'm not super into playing the game of YouTube anymore. Hunting down collaborations or kissing ass or like trying to be friends with people that I know I'm not friends with. And it's not that I don't want to be friends with YouTubers, there's still like a lot of them out there that I like. Like if there was a room of YouTubers, it would be like us in the corner, you know what I mean? Huge, huge thank you and appreciation to all you guys out there. I now have like a, like a solid group of five girls that will retweet my stuff. They're all awesome. So if you guys want to be a part of my retweet squad, whenever I put out a tweet, Retweet. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.